Alright boys and girls, so now we're going to cover uh, in lesson two the After Effects menu. So hopefully you've installed After Effects or uh, you're planning on doing it. And once you've opened After Effects, you will want to go check out the top left hand corner of your uh, software and you will see that there is an After Effects and file and edit composition layer effect animation view window help bar up here. And th what this is, th these are your menus and you can click on let's say After Effects and it will open up a menu um, and you can go down through all these different functions and these different uh, abilities to manipulate After Effects. Uh, your first one, of course, under After Effects will be about After Effects. This tells you what your RAM is, what your processor is dealing with, what side of software you are, um, what version you're in. Preferences allows you to customize your After Effects. Um, I highly, highly, highly uh, encourage you to go to your um, autosave, deal with that, and also to um, to deal with your undo levels, and you'll control that here. If you're dealing with uh, RAMs and outputs and and you want to customize some stuff, you can go in here as well, uh, where you store your media, your disk cache, all this gets handled here. Okay. Of course, then the next one is services. Um, then there's hide after effects, hide others, show all, and then quit after effects. And you notice that there's hotkeys for all these things. Hotkeys are under almost every single one of these functions in these different menus, and they're very important to know and memorize. So uh, try to do that best you can. Uh, the next one will be file. And of course, in file, it's pretty much self-explanatory, but we'll go through it. Um, you would create a new project or folder. Um, you can open projects, you can close projects, you can save them, save as. You can import footage. This is how we import files and formats into um, After Effects. Uh, you can also export. Now export goes towards exporting to other softwares, not exporting the footage that you've worked on, um, but it exports the footage that you've worked on to other softwares. Uh, to actually export something at, or render something out, you will use that under composition, which will be make movie. Um, there, and there's the go to Adobe Story, you can find stuff, and then of course there's create proxies and replace footage and reload, pr reload footage, reveal and finder, and then finally uh, project settings. The next one will be edit, and edit allows you to undo and redo your history of what you've done. You can cut, copy, paste, and clear stuff that's in your timeline uh, or your layers. Um, you can also duplicate footage um, that's in your timeline. All this, of course, is hotkeys, pretty standard stuff. Um, you can purge. Purge is very important. If you want to purge all your memory, your undos, your image caches, your snapshots, video memory, you can do any of these. This is very important if your, your machine's locking up and you're crashing all the time. Most likely, it's just got too much stuff in its memory and too much going on, and it just doesn't, it just can't handle it. So, and this is a common occurrence, and you just purge your stuff and it should hopefully go back to normal. Um, otherwise, you might have to upgrade to another machine or um, find a workaround. Um, of course, then the next thing is uh, templates, where you can make templates. Um, and then let's go to the composition. Now, we work in compositions, and inside of compositions, there's layers. So if you want to create a composition, you can also go to, you go to new composition. Um, you can control your composition settings under composition settings. Um, there's all these other functions in here as well. Add a render queue, add output modules. You can preview, preview RAMs. Um, composition flow charts, mini flow charts. This stuff allows you basically to understand what's going on more in the composition. Um, for the most part, all this stuff can also be handled within the panels, within these panels, and also can also be used with uh, hotkeys. So next would be layers. Layers are uh, what we use to basically have reference to our footage. Our footage comes in and then we bring it into the composition as a layer. And then we work on each individual layers within that composition. You kind of think of it as like a stack of cards and each card has, the one that's on top is of course the top card in your timeline. The one at the bottom is the bottom card. And you can work with any one of these layers at any given time. Uh, of course, here we have layers. You would go to new layer and make a layer, layer settings, open masks. Quality switches, transform time, frame blending, 3D layers, guide layer, add marker, and we have all these other things, uh, blending modes. This is this is fun stuff uh, that we're going to cover later on. Uh, kind of sounds boring, yawn, 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 but it's actually, this is great bread and butter right there. All these are also sub-menus within the layer, so you don't have to necessarily go up to the menus. Um, next, we'll have the effects. Effects are also fun ways of uh, adding things, like if you want to color correct, if you want to blur something, if you want to key something out or make water, or make fire, or make smoke, um, you want to add lights um, in one aspect because lights are actually added in another thing within layers. Um, 
you will do all that here. You, this is where you also find your plugins. So if you buy plugins from people like Red Giant, thus the Red Giant, um, you will uh, you'll install them and they will show up here. All right, next will be animation. Animation allows you to deal within your timeline, the keyframes. Um, you can save stuff uh, like your animation presets. Um, you can also animate like animate text and track and stabilize motion. Um, you can add expressions, which we'll deal with later. And that's pretty much handles, handles the uh, animation aspect of uh, the software. Then we have views where when you're working in After Effects, you have your, your main view, which typically means your active camera. And that typically looks like a 2D view, but we can instantly switch things to 3D views and use uh, X, Y, and Z axes on each individual layer within the view. And if we wanted to see the side view of that or the bottom view of that, we can deal with that right here within the view, or we can deal with that within the viewport of the composition. Next, we will deal with Windows and Windows allows us to deal with our panels. All right, so this is where we can customize our panels. I have all panels up. If I click on, let's say, animation, it switches my view within After Effects and we'll see all these other panels. I like to work with either standard or all panels. And all panels is great because you can have lots of different things going on here and you don't have to go up here and say, hey, I want this one, I want that one. Um, it's pretty cool. So, and finally, we'll have the help menu. The help menu will access a help file within the After Effects software or, with the, or with on your computer and allow you to find stuff that maybe you've missed or that you've forgotten or a solution that you might not be aware of or how to deal with a, a common problem here and there or not so, not so common problem as well. Um, this is the tutorial number two for how to deal with menus. Our next tutorial will be actually, actually panels. And I uh, hope you enjoy this. Stick around for the next one. Peace.